The top 3 flash news that you really need to know before deep diving in everything they are saying about our beloved Juventus. We start immediately today with the number 3 Juventus on social media. They have a new banner with 5 iconic players that are representing Juventus 22-23. We see a lot of players like Pogba, Di Maria, new arrivals. We don't see Matthijs the least. Is this a sign? Top 2. Top 2 yesterday. There was a long discussion between Zaniolo and the captain of Roma, Pellegrini, after a game, after a training. They were discussing a lot. Gazzetta dello Sport were saying, is this an anti-Juve discussion with Pellegrini trying to convince Zagnolo to remain at Juve when we are opening the article and reading? They are admitting that they have no idea what they were talking about but because they were really far away from where they were sitting on the ground. So an article just to write an article and the number one of the week or at least of the day, it is Andrea Cambiaso that yesterday in one day signed and was announced by Juventus with a big smile and in the same day we saw him at the training center for the medicals with Bologna. Of course, there are a lot of other things that we have to speak about, like De Ligt, like Bremer, like Pau, Torres, so many things. Zaniolo, we will start after the intro. Put a maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel, we start. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. We start today wishing a happy birthday to Danilo, 31 year, one of the leaders of Juventus, probably not the one that is the most vocal, but at least a really silent leader in the locker rooms and let's see where we will see him also next season on the pitch. Will he be as a center back, will he be used as a right back, let's see, but one thing is sure, Massimiliano Allegri is really convinced about our Brazilian player that is wishing today or is partying today celebrating today 31 year we start with the italian papers with tutto sport we sing scintilla di maria fireworks di maria with the winning team that we already showed yesterday they are saying that in the six days that di maria already has been at juventus he actually makes sure that everyone fell in love with him because of his charisma about his leadership but also about him being a real example on the field and out of the field we are happy to see and to read these kind of things because Di Maria will be there for one year but what a year are we expecting from our Argentinian number 22 inside to the sport double page where they are actually saying what we are repeating since the 23rd of April that he will be super important with his cross centers for uh, Dusan Vlaovic DV9 but also to make sure that he is freeing up Paul Pogba for the shot from the distance they are showing below on the bottom of the page three different ways of playing with Di Maria Pogba and Vlaovic three that will be a really magic trio they are saying if Pogba is playing on the left you see Di Maria that can give him the ball a bit in the back so that he can go from the distance but he also can cross for Vlaovic if Pogba is playing on the right side of the field they will play a bit more together with one two passes so that uh, actually Di Maria is easiness the find a way to enter the box and then the third way is actually the combination with Vlaovic where we see Pogba a bit more on the left side Di Maria or giving the ball to Vlaovic or actually entering with Vlaovic making a move a bit more to uh, to the right side of the field so that the, the defenders of the opponent teams are following him freeing up some space for Di Maria guys I can guarantee you we will see beautiful things we continue with a man a man that is really in shape and really in form in the first week of training at La Continassa of course we can speak about about Pogba, Zakaria, about Di Maria, but no, the man that we are talking about is Moise Keane. Moise Keane that is actually showing really in terms of behavior, but also in terms of physicality, really beautiful things, a total different Moise Keane that last year. Can we see a Moise Keane of 2018 in our team, or is it actually a media stunt so that the other teams are seeing that Moise Keane is on the market, he's still available, and are maybe interested so that we can swap him, Maybe with Paris Saint-Germain, Paredes. Why am I speaking about Paredes? Because in the double page of Gazzetta dello Sport, they are asking a question about Juventus, but who will take the lead of that midfield, of the game? Will it be Locatelli? Will it be Pogba? When we know that they are not pure regista alla Pirlo or alla Pjanic, we have to check, we have to understand that. That will be a big question mark. Or maybe really going for a Paredes that would form a really beautiful trio in the midfield. Paredes as the 
regista and then two box to box like Pogba and Locatelli. Who are the other regista from the other teams? We have a Tonali, we have a Brozovic, Lobotka, Marcos for Lazio, then we have Matic and Mandragora for Fiorentina. So you see that the brain of the teams are already identified for our opponents. Who will be the brain for our team? Will there be a real brain for Massimiliano Allegri or will he do like he did in the past when he won a Scudetto with Milan without Pirlo being really the regista but instead with Van Bommel one that will absolutely not be a regista but for sure also not on the field with Juventus will be Molina Molina that is that close to go to Atletico Madrid we are speaking about Molina since long time there were two teams interested, Simeone with Atletico Madrid and Juventus. We always said that it was a bit difficult because we had so many players on the right side of the field. Quadrado, De Ciglio, Danilo. Pay attention, I know that you will be sad. I know that you are not happy, that you are feeling as it is a missed opportunity. But guys, we are speaking about real football. There are a lot of things to do, speaking and starting with the centre-back position that we will start speaking about because at the moment, without Kelly maybe with the league that is leaving there are other priorities and especially if you have to invest a lot of money 25 30 35 million euro it's maybe better to invest or in an extra regista like Paredes or a vice Vlaovic or maybe on the left side of the field where we still have problems and not for this year on the right side missed opportunity maybe yes but if we are thinking logically, there were other priorities and you can't do everything. Nicolo Skira is always repeating, is always, no, is also repeating what I was saying. He was never really a priority for Juventus because you already have three players that can play as a right back. Corriere dello Sport, they are saying Dispetto Juve, l'inserimento dei bianconeri nell'affare Bremer, inquieta Marotta. Beppe Marotta, that is starting to worry because he sees that Juventus is going now on Bremer. They gave up a bit on Bremer because they knew that it was not a done deal with Inter or that there was a promise with Inter and Bremer so they gave up a bit but now losing Koulibaly Juventus is back and Marotta is starting to, to stress Bayern is going ahead with 80 million or they want uh, to go maybe raising their offer until 80 million for Juventus Juventus is waiting Gazzetta dello Sport are speaking about Ibra that will extend one more year with Milan they are giving all the secrets who cares I don't care, but Gazzetta instead of focusing for Bremer, they are focusing on Pau Torres. Yesterday we did a live of 1 hour 20 and we decided who was the best defender there, Pau Torres, was it Bremer, was it uh, Gabriel from Arsenal, but here they are saying that Pau Torres, there are already contacts and also a big page in Gazzetta inside the pink paper saying that yesterday there were already contacts between the agent of the player and Villarreal to understand what kind of uh, uh, value they are giving of the players 60 million in the close but what are they ready to ask for selling their center back they are asking 50 million where Juventus is yes interested really a lot interest but they don't want to go over 35 40 million for the Spanish yellow submarine submarine defender Bremer what a fight the sport is really continuing on Bremer but of course one thing that can be decisive is the first one that will sell or the lift or screener will have a lot of more money to convince Cairo there is always Gabriel in the background Juventus willing to convince uh, uh, Bayern target, Mat target Matez De Ligt to stay and this is the big question we have to take a moment because we are all speaking as if Matez De Ligt already left Juventus but at the moment he is a Juve player and Juventus they want between 90 and 100 million euro for a player otherwise they don't want to sell him the same as Manchester City did with Nathan Ake that there were some team interested in like Chelsea they said no or you pay the price or you don't say see the player and Juventus is adopting the same strategy will he leave or not at the moment I feel that at the end he will leave but there are a growing optimism at Juventus in La Continassa that Matthias De Ligt is starting to really think about it. What about the Bayern side? Hassan Saliamicic is saying that it was important to really meet face to face Juventus. They said what they had to say. Now they will wait with a certain optimism. Let's see. One that will not be there probably is Gabriel 
except if Gabriel or Arsenal are accepting a swap. We tried with Arthur, now we try with another midfielder that we were not speaking about since a few days, it's Adrien Rabiot. If Arsenal is accepting a swap with the player of Juve, maybe Gabriel will be the new centre-back of Juventus. Let's see what Rabiot will say, because he was linked to a lot of teams of Premier League. And now we go to the chapter of Zaniolo, Nicolo, Zaniolo a fuoco lento, Zaniolo step by step. We are going slowly but surely. Juventus are really convinced and Roma, they are opening and still opening the green light, giving the green light to Juventus to say we are open for a loan, an expensive loan with an obligation to buy. Juventus is still trying to insert some players there. We tried with a lot of names. At the moment, Roma is saying no, but they are open. They really want to go fast to give actually away their number 22 that will become a Juve player with the number 8, with the number whatever. We don't know at the moment because 22 has already been taken. Will Zaniolo be a Juve player at the end? Yes or no? Will he be fast? Will it be before the tournée in USA, before the 20th? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments what you think about Zaniolo becoming a Juve player. Yesterday we said it in the flash news that I hope you like. Yesterday you gave me a lot of positive feedback about that intro. Let me know guys what you think that Pellegrini was saying to Zaniolo. What, what, what was Zaniolo saying to Pellegrini. I'm curious to read your answers. Guys, it is Friday and like Paul Pogba, I wish you an amazing, amazing start of the weekend. Thank you for following the channel. Thank you for always being with so much in the lives and putting a maximum of like. Subscribe to the channel. Grazie, forza. Juve.